An aircraft carrier, a multi-billion dollar fortress of steel, packed with top secret technology, cutting edge weaponry, and thousands of lives aboard. It's one of the most secure places on the planet, right? After all, it's the backbone of the U.S. Navy's global reach. But what happens when security breaks down on a massive seaborne war machine? And all it takes is something as small and seemingly innocent as a Wi-Fi signal. Number one, the anatomy of an aircraft carrier's security. An aircraft carrier's security is multi-layered, designed to handle threats on various fronts, whether they be physical, cyber, or operational. At its core, an aircraft carrier combines military might and intricate technology, and its security reflects this complexity. The vessel's physical security is immediately obvious. Heavily armed, the carrier is surrounded by destroyers, cruisers, and sometimes submarines when on a mission. These escort ships form a protective barrier around the carrier, known as a carrier strike group. This allows the carrier to focus on its air operations while its escort ships provide layered defense against enemy aircraft, submarines, and surface ships. However, the carrier itself is far from defenseless. It houses anti-aircraft weapons, missile defense systems, and countermeasures against incoming threats. The internal security is equally critical. Crew members are trained to be vigilant about unauthorized access, with restricted zones across the ship that only specific personnel can enter. For instance, sensitive areas like the Combat Information Center, CIC, which manages radar and weapon systems, require a high security clearance. Access to certain areas is closely monitored through security protocols, badges, and watch rotations with armed security forces patrolling around the clock. Communication security plays a pivotal role. Every piece of information that moves in and out of the carrier is encrypted and monitored. These ships have dedicated internal communication networks, which remain isolated from external internet connections. They use highly secure military-grade communication systems like the Tactical Data Link, TDL, to transmit real-time information, including encrypted tactical messages and targeting data. This closed-loop communication ensures that even if an external threat tries to intercept data, it's virtually impossible without the proper decryption. Then there's electronic warfare, EW security. Modern carriers have the capability to detect, intercept, and even jam hostile signals or incoming missiles. This technology allows them to disrupt enemy communications, radar systems, and tracking mechanisms, creating an electronic shield. This level of EW not only protects the carrier, but also adds an offensive edge, providing the ability to control the electronic environment around the ship. Moreover, aircraft carriers employ cybersecurity protocols that extend to every digital device aboard. From navigation systems to the launch controls of the fighter jets, every system is layered with cybersecurity defense mechanisms to counteract cyber attacks. Crews undergo constant training to identify and respond to potential cyber threats, and red teams are often employed to simulate attacks, testing the readiness and robustness of the carrier's digital defenses. Number two, stinky Wi-Fi and the story of Command Senior Chief Grizel Marrero. Command Senior Chief Grizel Marrero's unauthorized stinky Wi-Fi scandal aboard the USS Manchester was more than just a breach of protocol. It exposed vulnerabilities in one of the most secure naval environments. The story began innocuously enough. Sailors noticed an unusual Wi-Fi network appearing on their devices. Most dismissed it as a glitch, but others grew suspicious, as it was odd for a ship operating in the middle of the ocean to have an unsecured signal. The name Stinky only heightened curiosity. On a vessel like the USS Manchester, where communication is tightly controlled and all devices are monitored, the presence of any rogue signal raised alarms. For weeks, the signal would appear intermittently, suggesting it was being switched on and off, possibly to avoid detection. Sailors, naturally tech-savvy and accustomed to tight communications protocols, knew this wasn't just a simple anomaly. The biggest mystery was how it went undetected for so long in an environment where every device, frequency, and transmission is usually scrutinized for security reasons. It wasn't until a maintenance worker conducting routine checks on deck stumbled upon a makeshift setup that the mystery started to unravel. Command Senior Chief Marrero had constructed a personal satellite internet system using Starlink technology, hidden in plain sight. 
A Starlink receiver dish was bolted to a wooden pallet, an improvised structure that looked out of place on a warship but was designed to blend in with the ship's utilitarian aesthetics. She even installed signal boosters to extend the range throughout the ship's compartments, ensuring that she had coverage in her own quarters. The installation of a personal satellite internet system on an operational military vessel is a severe breach of military communication policy and security. The use of commercial internet like Starlink posed numerous risks, primarily that it created an unregulated channel of information flow in and out of the ship. This not only circumvented the Navy's strict controls on data security, but also posed the risk of cyber intrusions, as the military has no way to fully secure or monitor a private satellite system like this. The setup of such a system also indicated meticulous planning as acquiring, transporting, and installing the equipment without detection would have required careful steps to avoid raising suspicion from the command or security team. Upon discovery, the impact of the incident rippled through the Navy. Marrero's actions led to her court-martial, revealing how a single individual could exploit loopholes in security for personal convenience. While she was demoted for her actions, her case raised important questions about how security protocols could be improved, how internal personnel are monitored, and how technological advancements like satellite internet could be better managed to prevent unauthorized use. Number three, the DIY Starlink breach of brilliance. The DIY Starlink installation by Senior Chief Marrero was not a simple plug and play setup. It required planning, resources, and knowledge of both the ship's structure and the technology she was using. Starlink, a satellite internet service developed by SpaceX, provides high-speed broadband in remote areas. For a carrier like the USS Manchester, which operates in the middle of the ocean, this technology seemed like a perfect fit for those desperate for an internet connection. Marrero purchased the Starlink kit, which includes a satellite dish, known as Dishy, a Wi-Fi router, and all the necessary cables. However, the key issue was how to integrate it without raising suspicion. To start, Marrero placed the Starlink satellite dish on a wooden pallet to give it stability against the ship's movements. The placement on the weather deck was deliberate. It's an open area that provides a clear line of sight to satellites in the sky. Without any obstructions, the satellite dish could maintain a consistent connection to the Starlink network, even as the ship changed course. The pallet was a creative solution, allowing the dish to remain mobile while being firmly anchored, ensuring it wouldn't slip off during rough seas. But the real ingenuity came with her decision to boost the Wi-Fi signal. A standard Starlink setup can only cover a limited area, but Marrero's intention was to have access from her quarters or office, potentially located deep inside the carrier. To achieve this, she employed Wi-Fi boosters devices that amplify the range of a wireless network. These boosters were strategically placed throughout the ship's interior, allowing the stinky Wi-Fi to permeate areas well beyond the deck. This required careful calibration since the carrier's steel structure can heavily interfere with Wi-Fi signals. Marrero had to find the right balance to ensure coverage while keeping the equipment hidden from plain sight. This DIY setup went unnoticed for six months, partly due to the massive size of the ship and the fact that multiple maintenance tasks happen daily on an aircraft carrier. It also reflects how one individual can exploit the autonomy they have in their role, especially someone of Marrero's rank, who would typically be trusted not to bypass regulations. The implications of this act were significant. Unauthorized internet access on a Navy ship, especially through commercial satellite technology, introduced multiple risks. The unregulated data flow could have potentially allowed sensitive information to be transmitted over an unprotected network, which could be intercepted by hostile actors. Additionally, it opened the possibility of a cyber attack. The Starlink system, while secure for civilian use, does not meet the stringent security standards of military-grade communications. The Navy considers this a breach not only of protocol, but of operational security. This incident showed that even with advanced security measures, human actions could bypass safeguards, making it a high-stakes lesson in the importance of vigilance and strict adherence to security policies. Number four, consequences and the bigger picture of security. The discovery of the unauthorized stinky Wi-Fi network led to immediate disciplinary action, but it also triggered a larger examination of security practices within the Navy. 
Marrero's actions not only violated strict operational security OPSEC regulations, but also exposed the Navy to a potential cyber threat. The court-martial was an essential step to publicly address the breach and uphold military discipline. The process was stringent, scrutinizing every aspect of her unauthorized installation, motives, and the potential risks she introduced. Despite the severity, her retention in the Navy suggests that while her judgment was flawed, her technical ingenuity was acknowledged, a nuanced balancing act between discipline and recognizing skill. Her demotion and continued service under closer supervision highlighted an essential Navy perspective. Those with technical savvy, even when they break the rules, can still be valuable assets if properly monitored and redirected. But the case left an important question hanging over the Navy. How could a single individual install a network, operate it for months without detection, and potentially compromise the security of an entire vessel? This sparked an urgent review of internal oversight and highlighted the need for improved protocols around personal electronics and cybersecurity on board. The incident exposed gaps in routine checks and personnel accountability, raising the urgency for more rigorous inspection processes. It also revealed the need for improved cybersecurity training among all ranks, not just technical experts. As a result, the Navy took proactive measures to fortify its defenses, increasing audits on personal devices, and implementing stricter access controls. They developed new policies requiring more frequent sweeps for unauthorized networks, electronic devices, and monitoring for any abnormal digital behavior. Additionally, the Marrero incident shed light on the broader issue of human error in cybersecurity. The Navy recognized that its digital security isn't just about firewalls and encrypted communications, it's also about the human element. No matter how secure a system is, if personnel can circumvent it without consequence, the entire vessel is at risk. The Navy thus reinforced policies around reporting suspicious behavior and ensuring a culture of accountability where even high-ranking officers aren't exempt from scrutiny. The story also raised broader implications for other branches of the military. The risks posed by unauthorized technology aren't limited to ships, but extend to any secure facility, including bases, command centers, and aircraft. The Navy, as a result, began collaborating with other military branches to share insights, developing comprehensive strategies to address unauthorized device usage and strengthen overall operational security. Number five, the takeaway. Security on the world's most powerful warships. Aircraft carrier security isn't just about the physical layers of defense, it's an intricate web of digital protocols, human vigilance, and evolving technologies. At any moment, an aircraft carrier can face threats that range from cyber intrusions to insider breaches, which makes comprehensive security practices vital. One of the biggest challenges is balancing operational needs with stringent security requirements. Sailors must work efficiently without compromising the strict cybersecurity protocols that prevent unauthorized access to classified data and sensitive networks. High-tech systems like advanced radar, secure communications networks, and weapon systems are part of the carrier's critical operations, all of which require protection from cyber threats. The slightest vulnerability can be exploited by adversaries to disrupt military operations, gather intelligence, or even hijack systems. Every device, connection, and network on the carrier is regulated with multiple redundancies and firewalls to shield against unauthorized access. Still, the rapid evolution of cyber threats means these security measures must be constantly updated and reinforced to keep pace with emerging risks. Beyond technology, the human element is a significant factor in security. The five zero 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 plus crew members aboard are diverse in their roles and responsibilities, each with varying degrees of access to different parts of the ship and its systems. Regular security drills train personnel to recognize and respond to potential threats quickly, such as cybersecurity incidents, physical breaches, and electronic warfare. The Navy emphasizes a culture of vigilance where crew members are encouraged to report any unusual behavior or anomalies in their environment, ensuring that potential threats are addressed proactively. The carrier's security depends on layered defense mechanisms, both digital and physical. This includes limiting the use of personal electronic devices, controlling access to operational systems, and constant monitoring for any irregular network activity. 
Automated systems can alert security teams to anomalies, but it is ultimately the crew's responsibility to enforce protocols and verify that no unauthorized activity occurs. One key takeaway is the adaptability of threats. An aircraft carrier must be prepared for an unpredictable range of dangers, from cyber espionage to insider sabotage, which requires constant vigilance and flexibility in security strategies. Advanced AI systems are also being integrated to enhance cybersecurity efforts, offering predictive analytics to anticipate potential cyber threats before they can manifest. However, technology can only do so much without disciplined human enforcement. Mistakes or negligence by a single individual can compromise the security of the entire vessel, making comprehensive training and a strong culture of accountability critical. The crew is trained to operate as a single unit where security is everyone's responsibility, from the highest ranking officers to the newest sailors. This holistic approach ensures that no weak link is left unchecked.